Okay, by this point it's routine, so I, I don't need to tell you who I am. You know who I am, and you know exactly what this is. So let's just let's stream. Got some uh, some more great Red Dead. admiring the uh, photographs I never you know really realized that they you know they're kind of like photographs that they're that they're showing um, yeah! on the loading screen there Not too sure where we're starting off here. I know we have a Hamish mission, and then, okay, then we're going to head back to camp. And we got a Trelawney mission there, so that's our game plan. Uh, we can re-up everything back at camp, too, so. Yeah, no need for a big introduction. <laughs> Let's just get to it. So Hamish Sinclair is a veteran that we have encountered multiple times. He lives. I'm just gonna turn it down here a little bit and try not to run into a tree. Oh, I'm turning it up. Okay, there we go. Not like I'm turning turning it up. Like the volume is is being turned up is what I mean. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> um. He lives in a cabin over on, I believe it's called Oak Craze Run, and um, he's, we've gone fishing with him and hunting with him, so our, our activities with him have been of a more uh, recreational nature, but uh, this is the third time or fourth time that we're, we're going to go see him, so, whoa. He's become a, a pretty, uh, he's become a staple. In, in Arthur's life kind of over the last couple weeks. Chance for us to kind of get away from that awful camp. We got some uh, meat from haunting that we can give to yep. Pearson and eat some stew. Probably just do the the Hamish and Trelawney missions. Out of the way! Next one is going down to Saint Denis. It's, uh, it's labeled a Sadie Adler mission, but I feel uh, Get away! it's really going to involve more of Dutch and Micah. Indeed, a fair oh, amount shit. of blood. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. I'm dying. All right. Well, here's uh, some whiskey. Uh, Here, take a swig of this. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm gonna uh, get up and just walk no, away. Ain't no healing this one, partner. Oh, God. Uh, can't. Can't. Stay. The cure-all whiskey. I get her. Alright, nothing like a, a death to 
start a stream watching a man die. I think I uh, kind of just didn't get to him in time there. That wolf had a couple, uh, couple good bites on him. I mean, it's a win-win for me because I get to loot the guy and skin and get some uh, meat from some game meat from the wolf, so I'll take it. I was trying to hold on to some meat to, to cook for myself, but for the most part, once you give it to Pearson, he puts it in the stew and... That's, that's, I think, the most beneficial meal you can eat. And it's easy and free. Oh man, it's so much nicer in this part of the landscape. I think this is still New Hanover, but... Um, so much nicer than when we were down in the bayou, down in St. Denis. Oh, gross. And that's exactly where we're headed next. What have you been slaughtered? I'm digging Arthur's new look, ditching the cowboy hat and going for the, uh, the Englishman look. Despite being very American. Shouldn't be too far now. Okay, this is actually O'Cray's run right here, so I don't know if Oh, you know what? Hamish is not his mission is not going to be available right now. It's probably a timing thing. It's probably either day daybreak or it's 6 41 p.m. Okay, never mind. So we'll just head back to camp. We can do Trelawney's mission first and eat and, and do all that fun stuff. Yeah. Hamish is not too far from us, so. So we must be, I know we're kind of on the New Hanover, oh we're no, we are, oof, New Hanover. Where's the border for New Hanover? Anyways, looks like we're kind of right on the border uh, between New Hanover and Amberino. Really, I'd say the only uh, under-explored state so far, the most under-explored state, would be West Elizabeth. Other than going to Strawberry a handful of times, I haven't really spent much time in West Elizabeth. That's where Blackwater is, which has been a, a, a wanted, dead, or alive area since the beginning of the game. But I, I think we will be able to, to go there at some point. We should be able to. I can't see them having it for nothing. Because New Hanover, Amberino up by the Grizzlies, we've been up in the mountains, Lemoyne, Bayou. Explored everywhere. Yeah. If you haven't checked out the uh, extra content videos yet, the log missions, definitely do that. Uh, doing that, uh, the rock carving mission was uh, a great way to, uh, to just kind of explore um, some of the map, um, and some of the landscape especially. some wolves and my horse is kind of scared so hopefully 
not a pack around. from that cave. Sure, Uncle Arthur. So they're not letting uh, Jack go into the cave system that we've kind of inherited being set up at this camp now. I don't think it's too long before we'll have to move once again. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? Yeah, pretty what much. What a crock of shit this world is. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Whatever you say. Alright, thanks for that. Hi, Tilly. Wonder how many evenings we'll spend here. I feel like Tilly is <laughs> the only grounded one in this group now. Marston ain't the rat, you fool. Maybe it's you. Or maybe it's both of you. You're one dumb bastard sometimes. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Mary Bear. Always a really good thing to touch base with everybody at camp, too. I've tried to maintain a relationship with everybody. What I mean by Tilly is the only one that's grounded is I feel like she's the only one that I can hold down a rational conversation with now these days. I mean, honestly, think about some of the characters that we have left in our group. So many of the of the actually really smart ones uh, have are are dead or or have left. Uh, I'm thinking like Lenny and Hosea. You know, those are also really grounded people. And now, I mean, look, we have Reverend. He's sitting by a tree, rubbing his hands like Hello, a like, grasshopper. Ethan. Hey, Reverend. You're looking well. I feel better than I have in a long time. Keep it up. All right, Mr. Morgan. All right, Reverend. Peace be with you. Sorry, Karen. Good evening, Typical Arthur. Karen. Hey. Hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. We gotta stay behind Dutch, <laughs> yeah. Couldn't disagree more. So Trelawney uh, is Uncle. over here. Evening, Arthur. How are you doing? Everything's falling apart. What are we gonna do, Arthur? I'm just hang in there, okay? All right. I think I might get some rest first.
always gotta take the chance to kind of bring yourself back up to full health and full stamina and everything when you get to camp because you don't really know what the next time is that you'll be back. Arthur has enlightened us with a journal entry. Okay, that's just about the bridge explosion uh, that we did with John Marston, uh, Captain Monroe. Talking about the two twins going over the waterfall in barrels. Let's actually see if we can read couple of these pages. That's a good place to start. So that's the Indian Reservation. Okay, that's, that's the last mission that we did with Hamish. So here's the Wapiti uh, Indian Reservation. Went to speak to the chief about the situation. I helped him recover some precious things from the army. He gave me some medicine, which helped me a little. He's a man who not so long ago I would have found weak and pathetic, and now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Uh, we know, obviously, I think Dutch is uh, involving uh, them, or at least uh, Rain's fall son. Uh, eagle flies um, and I think they're gonna kinda get caught up in it in the wrong way here but we were able to help them we were able to get them uh, the shipment of medicine that was diverted away from them and uh, among other things so we've kind of personally built a good relationship with with them uh, which is good going forward uh, I think that they they're gonna come up again uh, sent him the location of these okay those are the carvings that we did check out the log missions for that Okay, found a feller caught in a bear trap a while back, decided on a whim to save him, then bumped into him in town. Guy gave me some store credit as a thanks. Guess it sometimes pays to help folk out. That's happened before where I've helped somebody. I think one guy was a snake bite. This one was a bear trap. And then you bump into them later on down the road, and uh, they help you back. Uh, the, so I think I got an outfit, and then I, I just think it was a miracle cure or something I took as well. So, Or a miracle tonic, rather. Uh, something real odd happened to me. Went to see Francis Sinclair, only he weren't there. But a lady was, nursing a baby called Francis, with the same mark on his face, and yet she'd never heard of an adult with that name and was acting real odd. She must have been treating me for a fool, which perhaps I was for getting involved in this nonsense. Someone had made the carvings into an odd symbol. I don't know what to make of this at all. That's the mission where... Uh, that was the rock carving mission, uh, the log mission. And again, I guess it's better to check out the extra content videos... Uh, I don't want to spoil that. And then I uh, saw the two strange boys and the girl they claimed to love once again. This time it was real strange. I mean, it was strange before, but this time it was, well, real strange. Yep. They got me to push them off a waterfall in a barrel. They both somehow survived, just about. But then they turned on the girl and went off together like two happy peas in a pod. Not sure what to think about the whole business. So that's Acrisius and Proteus. Two of the more oddball stranger characters we've encountered. All right, here's Captain Monroe. Saw Captain Monroe again, a good man in a difficult situation. Yes, this dump must seem a long way from West Point and Washington. He cares about the Indians, but he ain't too friendly with the local regiment. Helped him distribute some vaccines others were not so keen to offer about. Yeah, really. And that's the bridge, blowing it up with Marston. That's just in our last vid, so I don't think we really need much of a refresher with that. Just want to go donate my meat and hides, or pelts rather, to Pearson, and then we will see what's up with Joseph, or is it Joseph Trelawney?
morning, Arthur. Hi, Mary Beth. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch going to be all right? We'll work something out, I promise. Okay, Arthur. Morning. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Ugh, well... I should have actually donated it first, and then, uh, like, last night, and then slept till noon so that it would be ready, you know, but... Duh. Let's, uh, let's donate... Three big game meats. I, supplies are low. I don't need either one of my wolf hearts. Grizzly mutton from a sheep or a goat to be used in cooking. You can't have that pot go I'll give you all four. Man. I highly doubt I'll be eating that. I'm not going to give you my beef joint or pork loin. And I got some pelts to give you. I guess that's it for the meat. And then I got uh, a couple poor wolf pelts. If only it was in better condition. Me. Let's see what we can get for it. I have that legendary ram, so in the last vid we also uh, captured a legendary ram, uh, so obviously that's a perfect pelt, worth $27. I think that that's prob probably better used at the trapper than just flat out selling it. Um, I'd rather try and find gold and sell it at the fence than, uh, you know, get $27 from hunting legendary animals. Better to make something out of it. I wonder if you can make something out of it and sell it? I don't know. So that's it. Good that's job, it. Mr. Morgan. Trelawney, you sat outside my tent all night? How you mean? Causing all this trouble just when we need to be united. I ain't causing no trouble. I just ain't standing for any more lies. Ain't loyalty mean nothing to you? I ain't dying for whatever nonsense Micah and Dutch have concocted. And, well... I don't matter much anymore, but I ain't letting the women here die for that neither. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Sure, Morgan. Damn. And right in front of Trelawney, too. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You owe my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. 
Do it for me. Charles, I got I've it. saved your life. Do it for me. Oh. Sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. So I said that the uh, natives would come up again, and obviously they're playing a very active part in the story currently, so this sounds like it could be an interesting one. I also have some men leading me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I don't think this is going to go quite as well as what Rain's Fall is maybe hoping for. I'm more than happy to help them here. He's finally getting a chance to meet and try and make peace, maybe come to an agreement with Colonel Favors. So, uh, this is, I think this is going to play out quite interestingly. Um, Brains Fall is a smart, smart man. Everything that came from his mouth uh, there was uh, the truth. Um, Really just another unfortunate Native American situation. Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Whoa. We chance to kill it now. Kola with Yampi. Hiopo. Unyapi Ktelo. This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <laughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, oh my God. quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <laughs> Keep breaking peace treaties, 
we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. Chief Reigns, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason! Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. You won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on! I'll kill Don't you. You son of a bitch. Out this way, come on!
What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Yeah! here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. 
Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, <laughs> jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Don't go to Guam. I'll meet you back at camp. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> 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 What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. Wow. And my daddy. Well, I watched him die. And I wow. soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you. And everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. We're kind of saying bon voyage uh, to a lot of the characters that we've come across, uh, like uh, Josiah Trelawney and now uh, the sister. So she's, uh, we met her down in Saint in Saint Denis with uh, Brother Dorkins and we kind of helped their uh, little uh, organization out a little bit. So interesting that we run into her again. Ooh, it looks like a storm is coming. Um, that was, uh, that was one heck of a mission. And uh, that sister part there at the end, too, was uh, quite an interesting conversation. We got to learn a little bit more about uh, Arthur Morgan. Because uh, as much as he, he's become a likable character, and, you know, you, you, I certainly like him, we still don't really know him. There's still a lot of mystery behind him, and, and the sister kind of uh, highlighted that. Uh, but a very, uh, a very nice conversation between the two. Um, we were able to help the natives once again. Unfortunately, they weren't able to make any progress. 
Uh, Captain Monroe, he's kind of the li liaison between uh, the army and uh, the Indian reservation, but he's kind of uh, grown attached to the Indian reservation and almost become almost become one of them in, in wanting to uh, to to see their benefit uh, more than anybody else's so uh you know he's a pretty cool guy and uh they were just gonna have him arrested for treason to take him out of the picture uh you know and make things easier for them and uh arthur kind of overheard the conversation that two soldiers were having about that and so he kind of knew it was coming and uh, adjusted to the situation and we were able to get out of there with everybody alive. Uh, so other than, you know, 10, ten army men <laughs> that we killed on the way out. But a uh, very cool mission. Uh, it's how it starts with Josiah Trelawney and then we go from that to uh, the stuff with uh, Rain's Fall and Charles and then uh, at the train station at the end with the sister. It was, that, it was a, kind of a long one broken up into parts, uh, but very cool stuff. So it'll be interesting to see uh, if the natives come up again. Uh, I would hope, with how much we've helped them, that uh, you know maybe at some point they'll be able to, to benefit us, or at least me, personally. Forget about the gang. I just hope that they don't end up getting screwed. I mean, they're dealing with the, the US Army here, and probably not a great chance of anything good happening. Just don't want to see something terrible happen to the to that particular tribe. Talk about the storm, good lord, it hasn't started raining, but it's a thundering. So we'll just uh, finish up with the Hamish, uh, is it, it's not Hamish Sinclair, no. It is Hamish Sinclair, interesting. The same last name as Francis. Very interesting. Yeah, they were saying, uh, Colonel Favors was saying that they broke the treaty, um, you know, he's just trying to nail the natives on whatever he can, so, I can't believe Rain's Fall actually, uh, you know, trusted Colonel Favors again, uh, in setting up that meeting, and I knew, I knew it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna go well, I mean, that's just the sad truth of the history of, of Native Americans across North America from the past two or three hundred years, and I just can't see it going much differently in this game, unfortunately. But I will be there to help them in whatever way that I can. And we I continue to also see the, um, the decline in Arthur's health. Uh, you know, we've know we know he's been sick for a long time, but now it's getting worse. Every single mission, whether it be side or uh, main story, he he's coughing by the end of it. Like uh, sometimes he, he he gets dizzy and almost passes out, uh, coughing up blood, uh, and it seems to be getting more intense. He couldn't even stand there while Colonel Favors, Captain Monroe, and Rains Fall spoke together at the at the table at the meeting. Arthur actually had to leave and go away to that tent. Thank God the army was accommodating enough and not rude about that situation. Very interesting mission and very interesting dialogue again. Like I said, everything that Rain's Fall Holy said had some real meaning and importance. And interesting to kind of see what's going on between uh, the politics of, of this, this particular world. A lot of informative dialogue. Just a 
Hamish. Arthur, come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. <sighs> Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Stop there. Damn it, I wanted to whistle for my horse to try and get a better weapon like a bow and arrow. I only have my uh, Midnight's Pistol on the double action revolver. Ugh. That's not a great combo at all. I'll go with Midnight's Pistol for now. At least I can get something better now. I wanted to try and go uh, bow and arrow. And we can maybe go with the Springfield for a little bit longer range so uh, I can zoom in on him. Kind of works as a set of binoculars as well. Not a very good set, but a set nonetheless. So I would go sawed off and double action, the two Schofields together, Callaway and Volcanic. Let's go with the let's go with the two pistols. I do like having the two pistols, and they use the same thing? kind of ammunition as, as well. The fires too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here all right. here twice what we do well he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us but I can't tell which tracks is fresher let's split up you go up and I'll go onwards okay good luck to you sir 
Okay, so I got I gotta search up this hill here, so I'm kinda going off the beaten path here. I do have a set of tracks that I can follow from the, the, the poop. Not that the poop gave me the set of tracks. I'm not saying that it's walking poop and that I'm tracking poop. I'm saying from the poop, we obtained these tracks. That are showing up as a white line and leading me. You know what? No need for the explanation. Yeah. Google it. Oh, there we okay. go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't see it. Oh, shots fired. Hamish. Shit, he's after. Oh my god. I gotta try and get a clear shot here. They went behind those mountains, I can't see them. Oh, son of a... Slide, go! God damn it. I couldn't get a shot away quick enough. I have my, uh, s my good sniper, the Springfield, equipped as well. I just couldn't... Couldn't get there. Hamish! Hamish! Oh! Oh! Shit! Jesus, no! Oh no, 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 no! thrown and a bastard hog got me. <sighs> Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, <clears throat> but he's strong. Actually, the end of Red Dead Redemption 2. That's not really the ending I expected, but I mean, okay. I kid. I'm telling you, it's like we're saying, it's like our farewell tour. We're saying goodbye to all of our. Oh, shoot. Okay, so clearly I have to be a little bit quicker. Is it better to just take out my dual wield? Maybe that's the idea here. Yeah, and Hamish is dead. Lovely. That being said, Hamish said that we can uh, take his horse, Buell, who is probably going to be a pretty pretty good horse in terms of stats, I imagine. So that was the fourth part of the, of the Hamish set of missions.
so it's a, it's a giant boar. I don't think it's a legendary animal. I don't think it's classified that way. So I don't think I can skin it per se. But I was able to get uh, the giant tusk from it, and that looks like it's a valuable a valuable item. So okay, so I won't need. I can keep my. I actually won't need my bow here anymore. Oh, this is Buell. This is the other horse. So, I have to... Let's take what I need here, I guess. Let's actually go from the pistols to... Let's go back to the Schofield revolvers. Go back to the Lancaster, my personal favorite weapon. And we will go semi auto shotgun, just because I love the semi auto. So then, we have to remove saddle. Let's get this off, you boy. And we'll saddle up with Buell. Boy. So we'll have to rebond with Buell, but it's, it's, it's... On, I have a feeling it's going to be one of the better horses you can probably find. Now that doesn't mean that we lose 101. We definitely keep 101. What's it listed as? Temporary horse. Interesting. I should be able to go to a stable and call 101 back. I just, I'm not sure if there is a stable kind of in my immediate area here. So where's the closest stable? The closest stable looks like it's over here by Van Horn. That's not a crazy distance away. Um, so I can I can try and make that my next destination. The only things left on my on my map here are Sadie Adler, uh, and then we have the uh, a Charlotte mission. So, I guess uh, next time when we start, we can go uh, Charlotte, uh, then we'll hit the, the uh, stagecoach, uh, not the stagecoach, the stable. I want to uh, call 101 back to the stable, keep him in the stable for now, and I'll use Buell as my main horse. I'm um, just kind of a little short on time here, so uh, that's something that we'll have to do next time. But good progress again today. Big Josiah Trelawney mission uh, out of camp. We were able to re-up and kind of get ourselves back to baseline with uh, sleeping and eating some stew, donating some stuff to Pearson. Uh, we went to go see Ham Hamish. We said goodbye to three characters in this one video. Josiah Trelawney we will not see again, unlikely anyways, sister and Hamish. Uh, the Hamish set of missions is also done, and I'm sure when we open up our log here, we will see, uh, yeah, in terms of these side missions, looks like there's still going to be a Marco Dragic mission. Uh, we obviously still have that um, Charlotte mission. Charlotte has been a, an ongoing uh, series of missions, and then um, that's really it for ongoing stranger missions. Uh, we've kind of worn them all down, uh, so... I think I'll, most of the stuff going forward is going to be main story. I, I've uh, that Sadie Adler mission we've had for a while down in Saint Denis. That's the last yellow kind of big story mission on the map. Uh, so once we do that, it's either going to be a new chapter or I think it's going to be a big event. We're already well into whatever chapter it is we are in, chapter six, chapter seven, something like that. So uh, there's going to be some more uh, really important uh, missions coming up.
Um, I've really started to realize how relevant it is and how important it is to really listen in this game to what the characters are saying because they really reveal a, a lot in their dialogue. Uh, I have a really a new appreciation for the writing, so... Um, but uh, we have uh, done some really cool stuff the last couple of videos, and uh, I imagine that going forward it's just going to get even more interesting. Uh, I'm really kind of sad about Hamish. I'm really kind of bummed about Hamish. Uh, we had some good times with Hamish. He was almost kind of like a father to Arthur, if I mean, if that can even be a thing, because Arthur's kind of old himself, but, uh, you know, you get what I mean. Um, so, I mean, if we run out of Stranger Missions, if there's still a, like, a couple chapters to go and we don't really have a lot of side uh, stranger missions left to do it's it's just main story mission after main story mission then maybe I, I'll think about exploring another one of those log missions whether it be the dinosaur bones that would be a good opportunity for me to do that but I don't know I don't know where this game starts and where this game ends I mean honestly it's uh, we're 65.9 percent through the game right now I imagine we've probably crossed the 100 hour mark of this game uh, I mean, if you combine the length of all of my videos together, you, that would give you a pretty good idea of where we're at. So, I mean, uh, that being said, though, they've kept me in it. I'm still playing. I have not given up on this game. I've uh, had some people tell me that it's it was a tough game for them to, to really get into because of the length. But uh, this is part 63 already, and we're going to continue to chug through it for sure. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as I know you do. You know what? Like I said at the beginning, no need for any of this routine BS. I will see you on the other side.